Why is nothing happening? There we go. Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Beyond Good and Evil. I am Digits. And I am Grapes. And I am glad to be back. And wait a minute. Nothing is happening. There we go. Okay, okay. I thought the video had frozen again. Okay. Okay, so we are... What are we doing? We're running around. Now we're running the other way. Um, oh, right. We had just gotten done with all of the wandering around before the second dungeon, and now we were headed to the second dungeon. Theoretically, yes. But knowing us, we get sidetracked by something. Apparently the bar in this case. Yeah, that sounds about right. Wait, don't we have to go to the bar to know where we're going next? Maybe? I, I can't remember. It's been a while. No, he doesn't. No, that's right. Right, right. You were saying if he thought he had the pearl yet, which he does not. Yes, that's not until after the second dungeon. I think so. He eventually gets the pearl back. All right. And then we can get a new pearl from him. Yes, because we all know the value of pearls. Yes, yes, we do. Everybody important knows the value of pearls. Hi, random guy waving a sign. You keep doing that. Yeah, smoke that cigarette. Woo! Wave that sign! You think those of vague... Um... Important. Yes. You think that smoking the cigarette and waving the sign would be dancing moves by now, considering how art is devolving so quickly. Yeah. Yikes. It apparently hasn't gotten that bad yet. Thank God. Ow. Wrong lane! No, I'm in the right lane. Everybody else is wrong. Is it that time again? No, not quite. No, Maybe. now it is. You may say it. And now is time again for Digit's Adventures in Portfield Land! Yay! Gotta love the intro. Okay, so... In this episode of Digit's Adventures in Boat Failing, which we will be making a series at some point, if we ever get a decent recording schedule... Maybe. Digit's faces his toughest opponent yet! Which is... Not, well, directions first, apparently. <laughs> hey, I believe that was your fault. You told me to go out this exit to get to the second dungeon when it was the other city exit you wanted. Lies. Obviously, I know where everything is always. Yes, because we've never gotten lost due to your directions. No, never. Never at all. Well, on the plus side, there are random crates of... Why are there random crates of money? Some freighter got destroyed, I guess. So we're doms. technically stealing this from the government. No, we're stealing it from the doms. No, the doms aren't here. Actually, we're stealing them from whoever's boat this was, I guess. Uh, question. Mm-hmm. Why is the money disappearing? Because... I don't know. Maybe it's like the United States economy. Oh, burn on the home country. All right, so now, randomly switching from side to side, and we are going to that Slaughterhouse Races. What? Yep, Slaughterhouse. Oh, that's right. That's what we do in this episode. It's another <laughs> racing episode. Right. You know, presuming that we can... Drive straight? Do this. Hey! I actually did it. Hey, I have not always followed with my lane. Why aren't the doms telling us to leave? Shawnee, Double H. Nino was able to download the old plans of the slaughterhouses. Apparently, the third racetrack of the championship passes right underneath the surrounding wall. We've spotted an opening in the wall, which seems to be large enough for the hovercraft. Interesting via email. Oh, oh, oh. Some real cloak and dagger stuff. Find the secret entrance. In a race, apparently. Slaughterhouse race three and four. What happened to Slaughterhouse race one and two? You already beat those. No, th that was the basic racing track, not the Slaughterhouse racing track. Oh, well, um... Hey, look, some water! I'm surprised it didn't save magic. Nah, not this time. Okay, now I... That excuse is I, I don't... Do you remember how to race? Do I remember how to race? I don't think that's really the question. Do you remember how to race? Well... I know you... Oh, apparently you better figure it out soon! <laughs> I remember that I have to drive forward. 
<laughs> oh, that is, uh... That, that's a good strategy. And Driving I have, forward. And I have to get first place. You also have to hit those. Ah, that's yes. Good. That's good. That's a good thing. We can use a meme. Can we? Yes, we can. Should I use it? Uh, I guess. So, in order to win the slaughterhouse races, you have to, drum roll please, use the boost to get through! Ah, uh. uh, I've been wanting to use that forever. <laughs> now all I gotta find is a way to say do a barrel roll, and I will hit all the Star Fox 64 quotes. Uh, uh, I really wish you could Ah, uh, I'll probably get to use that on my channel first before I get to use it on this one. Ah, uh, but it is your fault that I decided to use a meme. Uh -huh. Hey, you're the one who took me to the meme generator. And it's your fault that you keep sucking so badly. Hey. It's a poll. Hey, this is Digit's Adventures in Boat failing, not Digit's Adventures in Boat successing. Wouldn't be nearly as funny. Yeah, but you still won second prize. Yes! Which means back into the fray. And you can't even get to the entrance of the race. Hey, to be fair, they turned me around. <laughs> and again, this is Digit's Adventures input failing, and I was the best loser. That makes no sense. Alright, so away we go, and I just remembered something. That you can jump, apparently? No, no that I can use my cannon to cheat. Except that didn't work, remember? Oh, right. That only... Why you no boost? What? Well, I got the title for this episode. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Thank goodness. God. Okay, now I'm tired of failing and I decided to use the uh, portable boosts. There, I'm boosting. Are you happy? No! Of course not. Our fans expect a certain level of fail in each video, and I am obligated to give it to you. Oh yes, because you try so hard. You have any idea how hard it is to look like I suck this much at doing something as simple as moving forward in a direction? Yes. I almost jumped over the boost. Again, it takes a certain kind of skill to appear to suck this much. And I, was I close. pulled it out at the end. Woo! No. Digits Adventures in Boat Winning! Oh! And you uh, didn't do the meme right. Yeah, I know. Might as well be Digits Adventures in Meme Fail and. Or no, that's Grapes' Adventures in Meme Fail. Yes. You have Meme Fail and I have Boat Fail. Now, uh. Ow, my face. As we were saying. <laughs> Now on to the fourth race, which you actually have to win and... Wait, which one's the hideout again? The third one. The third one. You passed it already. Uh, of course I did. But I had to beat this race anyway to get your precious pearls. Well, of course. Oh, wait, no, this is where I remember that I can use my cannon to cheat. Yes. And then it's also where you realize that they seem to go faster. Ha! Huh. This seems to be working out a lot less effective than it did the last time. Why you no slow down? So what's the secret to this race before we figure it out and our last selves? Turning. We're a hovercraft. We don't turn, we drift. Well, you don't turn. But it is possible to turn, believe it or not. I don't believe it. So yeah, this racetrack is pretty boring, actually. Yes, yes it is. And However, there's free money on it, so that makes up for any possible boredom you could have. 
And I'm only in fourth place, so I'm not doing that bad. Yeah, except it's the second lap already. Shush, they're not paying attention to the lap count. I as. Of course you is. Alright. What is that a skeleton of? Um the mystical sea cow? Yes. Excellent, that's a good question. We've seen a lot of the sea dwelling animals and none of them come close to having a skeleton that looks There's anything a like that. Shortcut! Right there, to your left. Really? Can't you use it? I didn't see I it. And I was right behind the first place, guys, so you can't say that I stuck that badly. Yes, I can. Oh, okay. You can say it, but none of the fans can. I beat all of these races on my first try. Lies and slander. He's lying and he's causing slander against me. I will not deny one of those statements. Okay. So, now I've used up all my boosts. So, so you just have to use good old fashioned talent. You're doomed. Not true. Now I have to use good old fashioned cheating with shortcuts. And any good online Mario Kart player will tell you that shortcuts are a legitimate strategy, just like camping. And shortcut! Hey! Oh, oh my Made god, it. that's a tight turn. Yeah, a little bit. Boost. Come on, I can use it. I have the force behind my thrusters. You can has force. Why are we going so crazy with this? I movie? don't know. You started it. <laughs> well, yes, I started it, but I only wanted to use one meme in this to create the title for this episode since we didn't get to use it the last time. <laughs> and then I just keep thinking of them. I'm sorry, I am, really. We are the lowest class of entertainment on the. Oh, crap. And you just dropped down to third. I was in first! Everyone saw it! Get out of my way, car! Sparks. Okay, now I gotta turn on the inside this way. Yes, I'm in first again. In your face, all other drivers on this track that don't exist. <laughs> because I'm pretty sure I'm just racing automotive cars. Automatic cars. Whatever. What are you talking about? No idea. I lost train of thought somewhere, but booyah, I got first place. Hooray! How does the crockpot manage to do that? It is such a bulky machine. I guess it just has good engines, I guess. Well, it should. We pay good you know, pearls for them. A speedcraft motor. Alright, so that is another pearl in pocket. Yes. Why do I keep doing that? Because... You cannot resist the allure of the pearls. Uh, I meant the... You know, I don't remember what it's called, so I'm just going to drop that sentence. Uh, probably for the best. Now, back to race three. Right, because now we have to actually enter the slaughter. Oh, no. I remember how well I did. Uh, oh, no. Yay. <sighs> First, you have to go around in a circle. Victory lap, bitches. That was a most pathetic victory lap. <laughs> Are you trying to be fancy? Maybe. Actually, I think you had to go to the bathroom or something, and we just decided not to cut this out. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you say that? Because otherwise the fans just think that I'm annoying them for the sake of annoying. And you are. <laughs> Okay, question. Uh huh. Exactly what is our hovercraft filling with to make it jump out of the water like this? Air, I guess. But air does not cause you to jump into the air. Air would just cause the tire around us to explode and the rest of the contraption to sink into the water. Eh, not necessarily. So you think it's mostly helium or something? No, I mean that you could be possible for it to send you up into the air. A quick burst of inflation would cause you to jump. Right, so how many laps do we have to do in order to open up the exit? 
you don't have to do any at all. Oh, but that's what I was doing at the end. I was um, practicing go. jumping. Oh, I see. I thought you were just celebrating in a really weird way. Okay, so the exit is up here on the left, right? Correct. You have to look for it. After, right there. After the uh, first boost. There we go. Yes. And now, another laser. Can digits do it? No! Uh, no! 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 Wow! After all that practice! Well, to be fair, jumping in place is a little different than jumping... You had a head start. You got Momo... Motion. You can't say that that was jumping in place. Oh. Oh, and this oh, place. shit. I think that this is a perfectly peaceful place and nothing will happen. Yeah, and you're a fucking liar. This is possibly where all the fail would ever commune in Digit's Adventures in both failing. Uh, not really. It's mostly just awesome and intense. Because of that. Oh, yes. The lasers falling from the sky, the laser beam cutting the bridge in half, the giant yeah. spider walker. I and don't know. I don't know how you did that. I was. And I'm pretty sure I shouted, where the hell's the game barrier when it happened? <laughs> you can't blame the game barrier for not existing. I can blame the uh... game barrier for not existing. And you may be wondering, why is he being so paranoid at this part? Look at my health! Look at it! Just jump! You're okay. supposed to jump over that part! Oh yes, because I have faith in my jumping capabilities. Okay, surely we are done with this seg- Son of a bitch! Of course not. Yeah, admittedly, this is actually a really cool scene. Honestly. It's a fun scene, and if I would not have been worrying about dying the entire time, I probably would have had a lot of fun. But I was worried about dying the entire time. But so that should I, make it even more fun. I was so tense during this Ooh. situation. I don't know how I made that jump. I don't know how you did either. I think the game barrier actually saved you there. Uh, and now we're at the slaughterhouse. No, we're Almost to the outside there. of the slaughterhouse. And what's going on? That's what I mean. The outside of the slaughterhouse is... It requires the most technical use of the crockpot in the entire game. So, of course, what this means is... We're screwed. We? You are screwed. Hey, you're part of the Let's Play, too. You were sitting down and watching this. Yes. So we, we, you and me, okay, you fine. plus me, we is screwed. I choose not to understand math right now. Ah, crap. Yeah. Okay, so you want to go about explaining exactly what this section is. You have to get a torpedo to chase you so that it will blow up these things. Hmm. And how much health is required for this section? None, if you're good. Oh, lucky us. Yeah, as Digits is discovering right now, you can't just blow those things up. But they look like they're explodable. They are, just not by anything that you have. How come we can't have a more powerful laser? What would be wrong with having a more powerful laser? Everything. <sighs> okay, so in order to get a torpedo to follow you, you have to wander into the spotlight. However, you cannot wander directly into the spotlight. You have to be in a position where you're ready to run. Because otherwise the torpedo is just going to hit you. Like that. See, like that. I am dead. There is no other word for what I am. I am screwed beyond belief. I have half a unit of health. Not even half. One quarter. I have a quarter of health. I have a quarter of health. I have no idea how you managed to get past that. Actually, I do. That crate happened to be right there. Convenient box is helpful. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Yeah, and it's not oh, a slouch damn. getting to you, either. I, I really don't know how you got out of that one. I think it hit the wall, but... It, it did. I was lucky enough to just dive straight into the wall and let it hit it. Yeah. And that one did about the same thing. Mm -hmm. 
You gotta get it so that the torpedo will actually hit you and not blow up. So, yeah, this is, again, a very intense and fun segment if you're not dying. Would you agree? In which case, if you are dying, it is even more intense. And less fun. Yes. And... Okay, I can totally get hit by the spotlight and not die. Oh, God, why does this have yeah, to like happen to me? Like I said, to those me? torpedoes are not slouches. I am... I cannot believe you didn't hit the bumper there, which would have killed him, for the record. I'm tempted to break out into the song, or into song, but I know I'd probably get A hit or B to have to do a lot of editing. Or both. Or both. Come on, just one more. We, Come we, on. No, you can do it. we need two. You can do it. Come on, come on. Who's a good death trap? Who's a good death trap? My God, why? why are you talking to the death why? trap like it's why? puppy? Why? 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 I was talking to why? you like you're why? puppy. Why? Why? That's ah! offensive. Oh my God. My Spanish, my non-existent Spanish ancestors would be proud. <laughs> Is that supposed to be from something? No. And Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> Why would you put that around the corner? <laughs> At least these can be blown up. Oh. But my, my oh boy. <laughs> In order to easily fix the hovercraft, we will need some repair. I'm surprised it didn't blow up. Okay. This is about the end of this episode, so we will see you next time on Let's Play Beyond Good and Evil. See ya.